Hmm, you know, I might be a few crowns short on this next trip over here. Okay, plan B. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey guys, Ace of Vegas here. So I wanted to go ahead and thank you for clicking on the video as always, and wanted to see if you guys have ever been in the same position as me. So as you can see from the last video we just did, I don't have quite enough gold crowns for our upcoming October trip. So instead I've decided to go ahead and book the room here. But you know, really, I don't know the best way to book a room if you have to pay for it. So I thought I'd set up a little experiment here to see if it's best to book a room directly through the hotel, book a room with a player's club card, or to book a room through a third-party website. I've used Kayak as an example this time because that searches other travel sites and cuts down the work for me. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and pick a hotel and then we're gonna go ahead and pick our dates and go from there. So a couple rules that we're gonna go ahead and use. Number one, we're gonna use the same hotel every time. Decided to use the Cosmopolitan Hotel and Casino right now because that was the best hotel in Las Vegas, according to you guys, last time that we did a poll on that, so thank you for that. Uh, number two, we're going to use the same dates, obviously, because there's no sense in comparing apples to oranges, so we have to do that. Same times for check-in, check-out, all that jazz. Uh, the third rule that we're going to go ahead and do is that we're only using a basic level players club card. So we're not going to use any pearl benefits, we're not going to use any diamond benefits, it's just whatever you get to sign up for free. So if you guys like the sound of those rules, go ahead and stick around and we're going to go ahead and see which experience is the best to book your room if you have to pay for it. Okay guys, here we are on the Cosmos website. We're going to go ahead and start off with our standard date, September 16th through September 19th. We decided to go ahead and book during the week because I believe that's when about 70% of visitors come through is from Sunday through Thursday, with the weekend being Friday and Saturday. And I guess depending on who you talk to Sunday too, but let's not talk logistics. Let's just go ahead and go with a Monday through Thursday trip. Okay, and looks like our basic city room is going to be sitting at $263.33. So after we decide to go ahead and type in everything. Now if you're looking to straight up book the Cosmo here, looks like if we're checking it, it looks like the rate is also going to be $263. And then we'll have to factor in the resort fees that we saw on the last page. But it looks like every single one of them is sitting at $263. So no difference from the main hotel site and the kayak, which is very interesting. We'll go ahead and even view the deal over here. Let's go ahead and check out Hotels.com. And moving from kayak to hotels.com, it looks like we're looking at a $263 a night booking for the city room with two queen beds. So that is good to know. So it looks like in total we'll be looking at $790 for the three nights, and that's excluding the $44.22 daily resort fee. So once we factor that in, that's another $132, meaning that its price is exactly the same as the one that we're getting at the Cosmopolitan in the first place. And now for stage three, now that we've actually gotten hooked up with our friends at the Cosmo, let's go ahead and check the availability. And it looks like even signed in will be sitting at the exact same prices. So that makes me wonder, is it any better with another company? Let's try Caesars Palace next. Alright guys, so starting by booking directly with the hotel this time, and this is without any special discounts and definitely without any other amenities here. So it looks like we're going to be looking at the 16th through the 19th one more time. Let's check for the best rates and see if Caesars can live up to its promise. No preference on beds. It looks like our best pricing for the hotel will be... Alright, and it looks like without any Caesars rewards... Our best room is going to be the Nobu Deluxe Room, which is going to be running us about $150 a night. Not bad for a week in Vegas, so let's go ahead and see what that comes down to after tax and all. So with taxes and resort fees, it looks like we'll be sitting at a sum total of $669.45. Moving on to Kayak, looks like we've been redirected to Expedia for these days over here. Let's go ahead and see what Caesars does. And looks like they do have a couple forum classic rooms here with a couple funny options. If we're looking at the exact same room, the Nobu Deluxe room with the one king bed, uh, that's going to run us $186 a night, excluding the $44 a night resort fee. So when we move on to book, if we're looking at everything with taxes and fees, we're going to be looking at $631.51, 
and an additional $132.63, with the room total being $764.14. But now let's go ahead and see how we do when we have discounts as a Caesars Rewards member. Okay, now that we have our Caesars Rewards exclusive rates, let's see how we do. And now that we've selected it, it looks like we'll be looking at a sum total of $653.68. So it looks like with Caesars, if you book directly with them, including taxes and resort fees, you'll have a much better deal. But now that also begs the question, what about MGM? Okay, and over to MGM Grand site. Well, let's go ahead and see what happens if we just pick some basic nights. Let's go from the 16th down to the 19th and see what our rates are like. And it looks like we have an available West Wing King for $199. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. So with taxes and surcharges, looks like our total is going to be $802.73 after resort fees. Searching Kayak again, we did find the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino for about the same price, $199. Let's go ahead and check out some details and see if it gets any better. And it looks like their best advertised room is going to be $199 a night, MGM Grand Hotel and Casino, and it'll let us pick our room once again from Expedia. Same sort of room, West Wing King, for $199. So after taxes, resort fees, and all that, looks like our room total is once again going to be $802.74. But is it any better if we book with MGM? I'm not holding my breath on this one because you guys know that uh, MGM likes to do what they like to do. But let's go ahead and find out. Okay, folks, let's go ahead and see about booking a room. So once again, we'll be picking the 16th through the 19th just to see what they have available. And lo and behold, actually, MGM Grand is stepping it up. Looks like we're looking at a 10% discount on what they had before, meaning that our grand total after tax is going to be $735.04, which I'd say is definitely superior to the $800 option there. So folks, it seems to me that no matter what you do, book directly through the hotel and make sure you're using a Players Club card. They're free to sign up for, they get you instant discounts, and it looks like two times out of three, you're going to save yourself a whole lot more money doing it that way. Thanks again folks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate you clicking a like, and if you want to check out any of my past or future guides, feel free to go ahead and click that subscribe button with the notifications on so you never miss a new guide. Next time, I think we're going to go ahead and take a look into the zone, the wind zone. So if you guys are curious about pop slots, that'll be the video for you. Until then, Ace of Vegas is signing out, strong hands in, happy spinning you guys.